The most embarrassing I show speed copycat. Why Boyum's 11 minutes of fame. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I have a lot to say, and uh, let's get straight into it. Boyum is currently going viral for copying the biggest streamer in the world, I show speed. Speed gained 10 million subscribers in one year, and during that, he became known for... Bro, like I said, this, this I show speed, I show speed is one of the most inspirational gen z kids i've ever seen in my entire life like the numbers that he was able to pull on youtube was absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna give him his credit where it's due like his numbers are crazy bro like a million views a stream like over 50k viewers in a stream every day on youtube you can't beat that bro like even if you don't agree with this man what this guy does how he acts, like the the crazy, menacing, venom type things he says. You can't lie. This guy's numbers is crazy. And the way he went about it is crazy. I will not give credit where it's due. Like, I show speed, yo, you did, you, did, you did something that a lot of kids and a lot of people that have been on YouTube for almost decades were not able to do. So, you did, you did in a short amount of time, too? Yeah, bro, you're, 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 you did your thing, bro. Overreacting, juvenile humor, making himself the butt of the joke, and acting so unnatural that still to this day, some like, people bro, can't tell if he's Like, bro, like, who comes, like, how do you come up with doing that? Like, how do you just, one day sit on your, sit on your bed and you're just like, huh, how am I gonna get views? How am I gonna be the most weirdest? African American, sixteen or seventeen year old kid. I think he's seventeen now. Seventeen year old kid, and blow up. And how can I be an inspiration for the youth? Oh, I got it. I'm gonna bounce my booty. Like what? How do you character, or if he is actually this high stress, hyperactive individual? And how do you wear your shirt backwards on purpose? <laughs> like I, I couldn't. I don't get it. Emerson don't copies care. his voice his facial expressions, his reactions, his personal interests. Basically, this young man studied everything about Speed's persona and imitates him. Bro. He is a literal android. Like, if Dragon Ball Z was to come in real life, he would be the first person we would see flying or something. He is an android. He's an actual android. Bro, look, bro, just look at, I'm, this is 30 minutes in the video and I'm talking crazy already. Look at the facial expression. Emerson copies his voice. Look, look at this. He's an actual clone. He's an actual android. And I'm not talking about the phone. No Samsung, like you, he's an actual android. I don't know what number, but if I had to pick a number, it would probably be one. Because he's the first android. Yo. His facial expressions, his reactions, his personal interests. Basically, this young man studied everything about Speed's persona and imitates him for a living. And he is building a career from it. Are you serious right now? Uh. Are you serious right now, Ben? Uh. Are you serious? However, M denies all allegations of him copying. To be honest, bro, I do not copy speed. This guy's wearing his shirt backwards too. Yo, he's an actual android. Yo, oh my goodness. Like, you're an actual android. You know what I'm saying? If I picked up on some of his traits, but I used to watch speed a lot. But like, bro, when people say I go back and watch his streams and study it, bro, I do not do that. His fans believe him because how could he live stream every single day for hours and manage to imitate someone else without slipping up? Well, he's been practicing for months, slowly getting better and better. Just a few months ago, White Boy M sounded completely different. If you guys DM me the butterfly emoji, I will follow all you guys back on Instagram. But yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this banger video. Can y'all please stop booting me, dude? Like, I'm over here trying to stream, bro. I'm trying to stream, and y'all and y'all spamming in my chat like my IP got leaked. But it wasn't actually I Show Speed that inspired all of this. It was Aiden Ross. 
I haven't blown up yet, bro, but I know I will blow up. My inspiration is Aiden Ross, and he told me to speak into existence and manifest my success, bro. I'm gonna blow up. When you're seeing this right now, I blew up. M was dedicated, motivated, and determined to blow up. Why? We still have yet to figure that out. Stay hydrated. White Boy M was not always his persona. He used to go by a different character called Bluffin. Bluffin was a little closer to an Aiden Ross clone than an iShow Speed clone. What's up? It's your boy Bluffin, and I'm about to show you how to get sturdy like me. I swear to God, Shaw, Siggy X, I will beat the shit out of you, bro. I'm not playing. After posting these silly videos on Twitter, he managed to get followed by a FaZe Clan member, FaZe Sway, and his whole world flipped upside down. Yeah, but I woke up to a Sway retweet, bro. Listen, I'm in bed, right? This is Generation Z. This is Generation Z, bro. This is my generation, bro. Wow. Wow. Jesus, please come back. Yo. Right? I'm slumped as so long. I get up. Boom. I check my To be fair, Bluffin wasn't trying to get recognized for no reason. He was trying to get the attention of a popular esports gaming organization called Delirium. At this point, Bluffin was making a little name for himself in the Fortnite community. His compilations were getting a decent amount of traction on YouTube and TikTok. But growing a solo brand in the gaming community is- Bro, if you're still out here playing Fortnite, you need to- Like, if you're, if you're still out here playing Fortnite, like, David, if you're watching this video- <laughs> Bro, if you are over 14 or over 16 and still playing Fortnite, bro, like if you're not playing it because you just want to hang out with your friends, if you're playing it on some like fun timing, I, I think you need to get a checkup from the doctor, honestly. I think so. Because there's no way you're still playing that, bro. There's no way you're still playing that. Extremely difficult. A lot of gamers strive to get signed by an esports team and be exposed to a much larger audience virtually overnight. M targeted Delirium because they were looking for new members. Instead of trying to become the best gamer or the most talented esports player, he leaned into his humor and made funny videos hoping to get noticed by the team. Delirium, bro. We have to have a talk, you stupid little bitch. Why don't you just, why don't you just pick me up already? You know, I'm a great addition to the team. So how about you just pick me up? Yo, he kind of looks like um, Jay Goteo. If you guys know who that is, he's on P2, the name's channel. Uh, he kind of looks like a little version of him. Like, when he was like, oh, I don't know how old he is now. Well, how old he is here. Looks like he's like 12, 13. But he looks like a a kid version of him. If you guys know who I'm talking about, then shout out to you. But yeah, <laughs> I'll show a picture. Me. Pick me up and me delirium this is what Hello? the average aiden ross viewer thinks they should do to get the attention of people they want to be associated with maybe his tweets were getting likes and getting engagement but bluffin didn't seem to understand that calling people stupid bitches doesn't typically make them want to bring him on as a team member to no surprise he never got signed to the delirium team however Faye, Sway, and Shaw took a liking to his funny antics. Sway even put a clip of Bluffin singing his intro song for a YouTube video. All the comments were praising M. At this point, he had a couple thousand subscribers and a small following, but he was about to disappear for a while. He abandoned the Bluffin character and committed to the white boy M character. Bluffin was the hyperactive, rude suburban teenager who liked to curse a lot. White boy M was where he tried to be a little bit more smooth and candid. What's up, Twitter man? My name is Bluffin, as you guys can see. Yeah, bro, why aren't you just a, why aren't you an actor or something? Because your acting is off the scale, bro. Your acting is S tier. You played almost twenty nine characters in one video. In this video alone, it's been four minutes. I've seen you play twenty nine characters, bro. Why don't you just become an actor? Like your your clone ability is actually insane, bro. No Naruto. Like you're 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 crazy, bro. Why don't you just become an actor? Like at this point, just become an actor, bro. Because. <sighs> Yo, you're 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 doing you're doing crazy, bro. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys a huge surprise halfway through this video. And I'm gonna be pulling all the shorties with these swimming trunks. Are you kidding me? Look at me. Look at me. Huh. Huh. Which one is the real him? We don't know. But we do know that all he wanted to do was blow up. To be known. For the next yep. year straight, White Boy M tried tons of different content. Omegle, interviewing people in his school, vlogs pranks, but none of these were getting him closer to his dream of blowing up. 
He had nothing to lose, so at some point he just decided to copy everything that I Show Speed does. But White Boy M is a different level of copying. We have seen people copy other people's video ideas, video formats, or even jokes. But have we really seen anyone copy someone's personality? How did it get this bad? Well, I wish I could tell you this was all a genius plan from the beginning, but that doesn't seem to be the case. A few months ago, M started live streaming every day on YouTube. He would play some games, go on video chat apps like Omegle, call girls from his high school, or interact with his chat. He wasn't very entertaining, and he struggled to pique the interest of more than like 30 people. During these first few streams, he talked normally, or at least how we think he talks. We got monkey app winner right now. But on stream number 12, something changed. Live with iShow Speed. He wasn't actually live with Speed. This was just a clickbait title. But it was Emerson's first monetized stream. And he broadcasted to the most viewers he ever had up until that point. Putting iShow wow. Speed in the title allowed him to hit the algorithm and reach a new audience. And it worked. Because two days later, he would go on to reach 5,000 subscribers. But it was in this stream where a few people started pointing out the similarities between the two. How do I sound like Speed? Y'all don't be making sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Up until this point, nobody ever really compared him to Speed, and nobody ever said they sounded the same. Now we have to consider, M is from South Charleston, West Virginia, which is about 200 miles from Cincinnati, where Speed is from, so it is possible that they could have a similar accent. The 5k stream had tons of new viewers joining, sure. and they were commenting, Speed clone, or the white Speed. His reaction to reaching 5k subscribers was the exact same way Speed reacted to hitting 9 million earlier that same day. <laughs> Bro, the fact that this guy got his shirt backwards. Like, I know he's doing it on purpose. Like, there's no way he's, like, being serious. He does it on purpose, but dude, it's just so funny. I'm in the chat. We did it. But then something interesting happened. Bro, who is he? Speed to subscribe. Bro, who, why is, why did he smack her back so long? I'm pretty sure that's, like, your mom, Stay right? Happened. Or your grandma? Dang, like, yo, you could break her back, bro. This man's slapping her back like, this man's slapping like chicken breast or something. Like, what's going on? Yo. No way that's the real one. M was convinced by a troll account that the real iShow Speed was watching his stream. So M spent the next hour straight trying to do everything he could to get in contact with him. I was just wondering if there's any way that you can actually give me the call with Speed right now so I could like, you know, just talk to him on stream and stuff like that. You know, I'm not on anything weird. I just love Speed so much and I would just love to talk to him, man. Appreciate it. Then he was DMing with allegedly Speed's second mysterious Instagram burner account. At the very end, he got in contact with this kid named Joel, who was followed by Speed and convinced M that he was in fact talking to the real iShow Speed. I think this gave Emerson all the justification that he needed because if he had support from the guy he was imitating, then he could keep it up. And that's exactly what he did. From there on out, wow. every stream just got more and more copy copycat-esque until July 11th when he would go viral for these clips. Give me this one, please. Oh. Really? I, I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you <laughs> really, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? I just, I, 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 I just, I, bro, I literally just can't. Someone posted a little compilation of M on TikTok that would lead to his subscriber count going up by the thousands. Even yeah, TikTok, uh, isn't that how I show speed uh got got popular? Cause the the TikTok clips or whatever, TikTok really be going crazy. Like it just needs it just needs that one person to post a clip of you on TikTok and it's over. You're 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 skyrocketing, bro. You're skyrocketing. Unless you're a one hit wonder, but. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. This this era is full of TikTok. It's a TikTok era. You get blown up quick on TikTok, and your life is just set, bro. It's crazy. And Speed reacted to it. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious? Bro, what is going on with his hair right here, bro? What is going on? Oh, my goodness. This guy has a literal oval hairline. <laughs> like, oh, my goodness, bro. Right now, bro. <clears throat> Speed! Are you serious, man? What the hell? 
from here, the TikTok <laughs> virality was going crazy. People were just clipping M's stream and waiting to roast him. This one got 17 million views. All of this TikTok traffic was bringing people right to M's YouTube page. But he needed a new viral plan, so he made a diss track on speed. I show speed, your music is whack. Messi is better when I was trash. Take it three days, I did it like that. Number 10 on the judge that's messy. The diss track got the attention of Aiden Ross, so he invited M on his stream. Every time you reacted to me, you was cool about it, though. No, nah, bro, I'm gonna be honest, stuff. you are a weirdo, bro. I, 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 <laughs> I respect what you do, but you no. No, you're oh, really no, weird, bro. bro. Aiden and his friends were making fun of Emerson, but then they also gave him props. Bro, Aiden, listen, I think you're smart as f I actually like respect. Like, we were just talking mm -hmm. about, bro. Like, you're actually, like, smart, bro. Giving him a cosign was just what he needed to keep pursuing his behavior. Then yeah, yeah. He, like I said, he's a smart, he's very smart, bro. Like, the fact that this guy's an actor. He's an actual actor. I think Hollywood should, no, I don't think Hollywood should hire him because Hollywood is satanic. But I think he should make his own film, you know, uh, make a little documentary on how he copied and he's an actual android and how he got to, you know, do the things that he did, you know? Even though he's not, he doesn't have a million subscribers or anything. But I'm very interested in if he's going to, like, become another Android to another character, another person, I should say, anyway. Like, who's he going to copy next? He's going to copy Kai? Well, it's because he's on the screen. But, like, I want to see, I really want to see, because I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of people that try to copy Releasey and his uh, roasting thing. There's, there's an actual person that copies Releasey's thing, like, they do cartoon roast. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Kai Sanat, the number one most subscribed <clears throat> Twitch streamer in the world, invited M on stream and tried to talk to him. You seriously. know what's crazy? I've actually met Kai. Like, I don't really want to say it because it's kind of personal on how I met Kai. And it's, it's just so funny how we met. <laughs> it's, just, it's just very hilarious. But I actually met Kai. Like, I actually, like, if, if I was to meet him now, I don't think he'll remember me. But we met, we had a conversation. And um, it was very funny. It was it was very funny. I made that guy laugh. So it was very funny. And it's crazy how, it's just crazy how I met him. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll say it. But yeah, I met Kai before. I'm not I'm not I'm not like saying it's a clout chase or nothing like that. But I actually met the guy. Very cool guy. Um, not recently. It was like probably like twenty nineteen ish. He was like twenty nineteen ish. What grade was I in tenth grade? Yeah, I met him in like 10th grade, so I was in like, I was like 2019, I was like 16 around that time. That's why I met him. So, yeah. Very funny. Very funny how I met this guy. He tried to guide him down the right path and convince him to stop copying speed. It's, I, whatever you're doing is working, you're getting attention. I ain't gonna lie, you're getting attention, it's working. But mm -hmm. it's not gonna be for the long guy, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Then yeah, speed not. reacted to the diss track. I don't get it though, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> He's so confused, bro. Get it. Speed acting extremely normal and almost out of character speaks volumes about how he felt. He just kept saying, I don't know, saying he doesn't get it or understand why M is doing this. I think he genuinely didn't know if he should feel disrespected, if it's just a joke, or if he should even be giving this any attention. Regardless, the exposure from Speed, Aiden, and Kai launched White Boy M from 25k to 50k to 75k subscribers in the matter of days. His slogan, bro, are you serious right now, bro? Became his catchphrase. He even made merch with it. Since then, Emerson has worked on his Speed accent and it is near perfect. M is full-time yep. impersonating Speed. He will copy the same exact thing speed does on stream and every couple weeks manages to go viral on tiktok i think we can all agree that emerson is just a young kid trying to get attention for the sake of getting not no uh emerson or whatever your name is white boy i want to ask you this question if you're watching this video i highly doubt you'll watch this video though, but here's a message for you the next 20 years from now are you gonna be happy about this are you gonna be happy about this face that you're making right here and 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 um the this are you gonna be happy about this about this cartoon network face that you're making right now are you gonna be happy about this like in 20 30 years from now we have kids would you would you be happy with your kids coming across this on the internet if we see 20 30 years of course if jesus didn't come it doesn't come back that during that time that time frame are you gonna be okay with this like, are you going to be okay with this being on the internet and your kids coming across this and your kids knowing that you was uh, an interesting Android type person that copied someone else? Are you going to be okay with this? Are you going to be satisfied 
with this. And I'm not hating. I'm just brutally honest. Are you going to be okay with this? Truly, are you going to be okay with this? Are you going to be okay with the fact that you copied this man right here? Out of all people who would have copied, you copied this man right here. One of the most successful, crazy, menacing, venom, carnage, symbiote type characters on the internet. You're going to be proud that you copied and you cloned this man right here. You got to be happy with that. And I want you to think about that. I want that to sink into your brain. And I want you to analyze it overnight when you're about to sleep. I truly want you to think about that. Truthfully. Like, I'm not trolling. Like, I'm being 100% serious. I know I, I know it sounds like I'm, like, trolling right now. Um, but I'm joking. But I'm being 100% serious. Like, on a serious note, though, like, I really want you to think about, like, are you going to be happy with the fact of this being on the internet and your kids coming across this and this is what you're known for in society truthfully thing speed does on stream and every couple weeks manages to go viral on tiktok i think we can all agree that emerson is just a young kid trying to get attention for the sake of getting attention he wants to be popular the same way that any of us wanted to be popular in school but he doesn't want to put in the years of work that it takes to get there he doesn't realize how embarrassing this is and how he will forever be known as the i show speed copycat so, so I said, then why is it still working i think i've come to I the said. realization that copying others might be the best way to build a following quickly in the modern social media era half of his viewers are acting as if they don't like him, but they continue to give him attention. The other half think it's entertaining how accurate his imitations are. This has been happening in music, film, and all other forms of entertainment. Just copy something that's popular, change it up a tiny bit, and ride the wave. This strategy is a good way to get attention, to cause controversy, to grow rapidly, but it almost always comes crashing down. If you want to build a career, yeah. earn a following of people who genuinely respect what you create, it takes years of hard work and dedication. And if you don't Definitely. want to grind for that, then maybe this career is not for you. Yep. Most definitely. And uh, white boy, I don't know if you're watching this video, man, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that copying someone that I think the person you should copy is Jesus Christ. He's the perfect example of how this how this world is supposed to be, how everyone should act, and I believe that he's the ultimate person you should copy. I don't think Ali Show Speed is a person that you would want to copy because the same thing with I Show Speed. 20 to 30 years from now, he's going to have to explain to his child all the crazy mannerisms that he had. All the crazy, all that no type of stuff that he RC. did. Okay, can you please? All the stuff that you did in your past. You're going to have to explain that to your children. You're going to have to explain that to, let's say, like, you want to work outside of YouTube, which I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. Like, you're, you're going to be set for life on this world, not soul wise, because I don't think you have Jesus Christ in your life, but you're going to be fine for the most part. But let's say if, like, God forbid, your YouTube thing doesn't go well, it goes crashing down or whatever. It's going to be so hard for you to get a job, actually. Like, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be so bad. But I believe that you're going to be fine this youtube thing i think you're gonna be 100 good i support the grind with i show speed i think the numbers that he did were phenomenal absolutely phenomenal the character that he has is actually like really historic and hilarious um obviously i don't agree with the twerking and the the, the cursing and all the crazy stuff that he does but i respect the grind i respect the grind and i respect what he as a content creator content creator content creator to content creator i respect the grind and i respect him as a person as a character would he be someone I would meet? Yes, I would love to sit down and talk to Aisha Speed and talk to him about Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's that, that would be the only reason I would want to talk to him. I don't think I would want to hang out with him on some, like, because he probably would want to twerk on me or something. I, I, don't, I don't want that happening. Um, but yeah, anyway, or bounce his booty or something or scream at me or bark at me. Because if he barks at me, well, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to do nothing if he barks at me. I'm probably just going to laugh in his face or, like, probably wrestle him. On some fun thing, I'm like, it's not a threat. I don't threat. There's no threats here. <laughs> we don't threat people here. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, that was the Android. Uh, that was that was that was the Android. Uh, and yeah, that's my thoughts on that.
and uh let me know your guys thoughts in the comments if you guys haven't gave your life to jesus christ make sure you guys do that uh and if you don't know how to do that the first video on how to get saved is in the description and uh yeah i love y'all subscribe if you are new like the video and i'll talk to you guys soon